Good evening and thanks for joining us. Today, the Terre Haute Police Department Merit Commission held their March meeting, a time for the public to have their say. And tonight, the conversation was partly about an officer and his controversial social media posts. News sends Tucker White attended that meeting. He joins us in the studio to tell us what was discussed. There were 10 community members who attended the meeting. They came with questions about the Merit Commission itself and what the commission ha is able to do. While not all questions were able to be answered, there was a back and forth between community members, police, and the Merit Commission. Community members who came out to the Merit Commission meeting today wanted to know more about what the commission does. I've, I've learned a ton about the Merit Commission in the last few weeks, but still, still have, have questions. One resident asked if they were involved in the hiring of police officers. Another asked if they were able to discipline officers. The majority of questions wanted to know what effect the commission was able to have on the police department. Mark Hassler is the, the attorney. He said it's not the Merit Commission's job to micromanage the department. And I think that's a false characterization of what the public is suggesting they do. The Merit Commission is able to discipline officers. Residents at the meeting were calling for the commission to get involved in the disciplinary actions that were taken against Sergeant Brad Newman. Newman was suspended for six days in January after posts on Facebook called for the United States to bomb China. With regards to Sergeant Newman, uh, what we heard tonight was very interesting. You know, his name wasn't spoken, but he was very much in the room. Terre Haute Police Chief Sean Keene says he understands that people are frustrated. He asks that they understand there are certain steps that need to be followed when it comes to disciplining an officer. When I hear people talk about contacting these merit commissioners and telling them, directing them to a directed verdict before hearing, that's what frustrates me because we're throwing the Constitution out the window at that point. Some residents believe that this meeting was a step in the right direction. I feel like the community's voice was heard in that meeting. I think uh, what we got tonight that we didn't get in February was a back and forth and some real conversation. I, not all the questions were answered, but I do feel like the questions were heard. If you have questions for the Merit Commission, mark your calendars. The next meeting will be April 21st at the Booker T. Washington Community Center. Back to you.